Hello, I'm Marina Dukhinova, the leading researcher in the Synthes Tech Scientific Center. Today I will tell you about some common mistakes during post-viral rehabilitation and how to avoid them. Mistake number one, ignoring the symptoms. After infection, one can experience weakness, shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, headache and muscle pain, cognitive decline, indigestion or other problems. While we may not take it seriously, still these symptoms can signal about the harmful effects of the viruses. The virus is spreading in our organism. As a result, virus activates many immune cells and negatively impacts the certain cell populations. As an example, the popular virus affects mature cells and stem cells of respiratory system, heart, intestine, where the ACE2 receptor is present. Moreover, viruses produce toxins that have to be removed from the organism. Altogether, these factors limit the normal functions of lungs, heart and digestive system and weaken the whole organism. The second mistake, boosting energy levels with coffee, tea and energetics. The reasonable intake of tea and coffee can even be healthy. However, do not try to recharge yourself with energetics after the disease. Most drinks contain substantial amounts of caffeine. Caffeine, of course, increases activity for a short time period. At the same time, caffeine burdens the cardiovascular and central nervous systems, which are already downed by the disease. The third mistake, staying physically inactive. After every disease, we feel weak due to general symptoms and decline in blood circulation. However, physical activity is essential for oxygen delivery to the tissues and organs. Thus, regular exercising and proper breathing are needed for recovery. For example, yoga may be of help. Mistake number four, sticking to an unhealthy diet. Our appetite is increasing during the recovery, and it's a good sign. But not all dietary habits help to restore the functions of the organism. After the viral infection, we need proteins to produce antibodies and form the secondary immune responses. Fruits and veggies are a vitamin source for all the vital processes in the body. At the same time, sugar and fat amounts have to be limited. Sugars are easily accessible for bacteria and may increase infection risks and microbiota imbalance. Excess fatty foods negatively impact heart and cardiovascular performance and provokes chronic inflammation. Mistake number five is ignoring your immune system. There are many pathogens around us. It is natural and our immune system has to be ready to encounter them. After the infection, the immune system is weakened. The number of immune cells is reduced. The local spots of inflammation can still be present, and the organism has limited resources for immune response. Keep a healthy lifestyle and diet, avoid the extra contacts with the pathogens, and your immunity will be restored on time. If needed, the additional help can be provided with Synthesit. Synthesit is an iron-based biocatalyst. It helps to improve blood circulation and oxygen delivery. As a result, the organism receives extra energy, support for the cardiovascular system, and activated cell and tissue regeneration. In addition, synthesis increases immune cell proliferation. Thus, it helps to support and modulate immune response and protect the organism from infection and inflammation. Moreover, synthesis supports the activity and proliferation of stem cells. We recommend to use synthesis to assist the recovery and to prevent the disease. It will help your organism to be on guard against all viruses and bacteria and to stay active. Thank you for your attention. I will be happy to answer your questions. Please send them by email or on our networks.